Okay, we're going to talk about defense for a little bit. We talked about blocking. Now we're going to talk a little bit about what we need to be doing in the back row here. So for you guys at your level, you guys probably know already what base defense is, right? So these guys are doing a good job on it. Some of the basics about just defensive play, especially as you, as you get to, you know, 16s, 17s, 18s, we want to make sure we're low, right? Throughout the entire play, right? I don't want to see guys being low and then making a move up and then coming back down, okay? The other part that is important to me is to be simple, okay? As we move for a block, let's say we have a, a hitter right here, the opposite's hitting and we put up a block, okay? His movement's gonna be very simple. He's just gonna take one step back from base defense, he's gonna face the hitter and find a spot where he can actually be in front of the hitter, right? So he's not gonna get stuck behind the block here. He's gonna find a spot where we can actually see the hitter. His movement's also very simple. He goes from base defense, he squares up to see the hitter. Again, always low, hands out. And he just turns to the hitter as well. Same thing happens if we go to, to a hit over here. The biggest thing for me, as we're playing defense, obviously hands out, but find a way to, for you to be able to see the hitter. Okay, a lot of you guys at, at the level you're at, a lot of times we get stuck behind the block and that's no good for us. If you're stuck behind the block, find a way to see and cover a space. Also, let's not be moving at the time there's contact with the ball. If you do get stuck behind the ball, don't start moving, okay? At the, at the point that the hitter's making contact, let's be stopped. A lot of you guys get, you know, um, you, know they, you get caught jumping or moving, and that does no good because if the ball bounces off the block, then all of a sudden you have to change directions, okay? It's all about seconds too. The last thing I'll say, reading is also very important. Just like blocking, when you're playing back row, you also have to read, okay? So, no offense to Lucas, but if you have a guy like Lucas versus a guy like Jalen hitting, and there's just a one-on-one -on -one block, and you asked me this question earlier, okay, what do we do as a, as a defender? There are more chances for Jalen to hit the ball more inside of the court, right? So if Jalen's one-on-one, we can sometimes stay disciplined and find a way for him to play, make a defensive play in here. If Lucas is hitting, there's no reason for me to get stuck shallow, right? Because unless he's tipping, he's not going to put a ball down right here in the middle of the court. So reading, knowing the tendencies of your hitters, knowing if a guy really likes a sharp angle, then you can start really playing. Yes, you're going to be disciplined and play simple, but sometimes if you see a guy line two, three balls really sharp, then you can at least know that, hey, this guy likes this angle, so I can maybe make a play here, take half a step, Okay, so just like blocking, really reading on defense and knowing the tendencies of the hitters on the other side of the court is also really important. So let's go back to the drill. Do the same thing, but as you're playing back row, think about these things, okay? Let's get it. Curry with the shot. Yeah. Ah. Here we go. 